Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the Arnold lights available for us to use in Houdini and the first one we're going to start looking at is the point light and uh, to create lights we can use the Arnold lights shelf which we've added in, um, in one of the videos and um, we're going to use click on the point button, point light button and then click on the viewport again to place it the point light and once you do that you can see that the manipulator change and we can move the light uh, and position it we can also rotate it but in this case it's a point light it doesn't uh, it doesn't have uh, it doesn't it doesn't get affected by the orientation and then uh, once we do that we get this node called arnold point light and it's of arnold uh, light type and uh, this node has various tabs the first one is the transform where it uh, where we can position it, rotate it, and stuff like that. And then the second one, which is where we're going to spend, be spending uh, most of the time, is the uh, is the light tab. And this is where we have all the controls needed to set this light. And I'm going to switch to the render view and hit render. And this should give us an interactive uh, preview rendering of, uh, of our scene. And we can change the value of the light, the light settings here and get a uh, uh, pretty much an an interactive uh, preview of it. I'm going to change the intensity to 100 here and we can uh, change the color as well. And we can uh, use the exporter if we want to change the intensity and make it brighter. And then we have the uh, controls for the samples and uh, this basically controls how much samples we're going to be shooting to um, uh, for the shadow rays and the higher the number the less noisy the shadow is going to be and it's going to also be slower to render and uh, we're going to keep this uh, at one for now and then the second one is a volume sample we have two separate controls this is specifically for volumes and in this case we don't have any volumes in our scene and the next one is the radius, and this controls how big the the actual light source is, which makes the shadow, which decides how soft the shadow is going to be. The bigger the uh, the radius, the softer the shadow uh, becomes. And then the next one is the decay type, which uh, defines how uh, the light intensity is going to uh, uh, decay as it travels through in this case in this case it's set to a quadratic which is what we want to be using for a physically accurate um, uh, light decay we can change it to a constant if we want to and uh, use a uh, reasonable intensity in this case one and this basically uh, creates a uniform point light where we don't have any any decay for the uh, light intensity i'm going to change it back to a quadratic and set the intensity to 100 and uh, the last one is the uh, is the normalize option. And what this does is if we change the radius here and we're basically making the source bigger, but you can see that the illumination, the intensity of the light is not changing as we make it bigger. But in theory, in, in real life, if we make the source bigger, it should illuminate more. So if we uncheck this option, uh, the the radius will be affect will affect the intensity so the bigger the light the more illumination we're going to get and also it's going to obviously affect the shadow and uh, for artistic purposes we have this option to say normalize so we only affect the shadow softness without affecting the intensity and uh, this is purely for artistic um, uh, artistic controls and the nice thing about the houdini uh, UI is that if you hop over any of the attributes you get a nice description of what this attribute does and it's very uh, very helpful to read and understand what uh, what each of these attributes does and uh, I think that's pretty much it for the point light in the next video we're going to uh, continue exploring the remaining light type thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye